everybody I want to do a quick video um, just showing you this electronic dice that I made a few years ago um, I just found it sitting around so I just decided to make a video over it um, so basically it you can plug in 9 volt battery um, shove it in there and then there's a magnet on the bottom of this and right here where it has the closure close and as you can see, there's no lights around this cube until it lands on the certain orientation. So you could roll it, and it will only show up once it lands. Um, this is basically uh, done through a motion or a gravity sensor. It uh, senses the orientation of the cube. I'm actually using two sensors. Um, there was something called Cube World um, that was sort of popular, I guess, a few years ago. And I, this is what they look like. They're little things that show, do random stuff, and you can connect them to each other. And basically, I took it apart, took one apart, and here you can see. This is the gravity sensor, and you can see you can actually hear the ball inside, which use it, which is used to um, do this uh, the sensor. It's a um, mechanical sensor. Um, I'm assuming that when the ball would hit over here, it's connecting these two wires, um, therefore creating a full uh, circuit connection. So it's basically a mecha mechanical switch. Um, but I use two of them in here. You can't really see because there's so many things everywhere. But I'm using two of those. You can hear the sensors when I shake it. And basically, I created, I figured out um, which orientation would be used as a switch. So here's a simple example on how this thing could work. So I took um this component out of the device and it seems like it's a bit of a loose connection right now okay there um and you can see that as you turn this this way it's off this this way it's on this this way it's off this this way it's off so only this orientation works and you can see how that would work if you looked on the back of this you can see I'm using these two bars for to turn it on and if you look you can see this bar goes into the first area, first wire then this bar connects up to the second wire so I'm using the first and second wire to complete the circuit you can see that the first wire is connected here which is connected to the battery which is connected to the um, uh, po negative side of the battery and then I just have the second wire connected to a resistor, 1k resistor and then an LED um, which goes back to positive on the battery so that's how that would work then put it together in this enclosure with a bunch of LEDs. You can see there's a bunch of tiny wiring for each LED which was pain getting in there, pain getting it all together but um yeah I basically made a little wooden enclosure for it, screwed a few holes so that the LEDs would fit in each side and uh, hot glued it all together. So yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. And subscribe if you'd like to see some of these types of videos in the future. Thanks.